Hey guys, it looks like Lawrence has quietly introduced uh, an upgrade to the network components. Uh, this is the NEP3. It now operates at a, a gigabyte per second. Okay. Uh, the current network stuff, the yellow connectors that you're used to, that we've had all these years, is running at 100 megabits. Okay. So this essentially gives us about a 10x improvement in network capability. So I'll just briefly show you the uh, the component new components here. Uh, basically, there's an assortment of cables. There's an adapter cable. This is the the box for the NEP, NEP the new NEP3. Okay, this is the new one. Okay. Uh, so we've got cable links from I think it was uh, two meters. Yeah, two meter or actually 1.8 meters, six feet, which is interesting. If you look at these numbers in a moment, you'll see what's what I find weird. Okay, this one is six feet. All right. This one is a uh, five meter cable, so it's 16 and a half feet, which actually works out pretty good because a lot of boats I've seen where you pop a run an Ethernet cable from the bow to the console, 15 foot, at least on a 21 footer, or, or especially my 22 footer, 15 foot is just not going to cut it or it's very, very tight. So this actually gives you an extra foot and a half, so that might be a plus side to it. Okay. Next one I that they have is a uh, it's a 15 meter. That's about 49 feet. So it's not quite the 50 foot cable anymore, but that's more than sufficient. So so those are the basic cables. I did ask uh, support uh, to see if we could you know maybe have a uh, 25 foot cable, which would be what a six six meter cable. Uh, we'll see what they come back with. And then there's also the adapter cable. This is the adapter cable. Uh, this is not the adapter cable that I would have preferred, okay? But it's an adapter cable nonetheless. This is an adapter cable that you let let you plug into the the hub itself, or into another cable, okay? Or, or basically the new the new cables, and it lets you connect a an existing Ethernet cable to it, okay? So so let me take you through some of the changes, okay? So I don't, while I don't have a NEP3 box handy, okay, uh, I do have an old structure scan HD, which is similar size format, you know, X, Y, and height wise. You'll see this new NEP box is, look at that, it's a little bit longer, okay, it's a little bit longer than the existing one, but it's about half the width, so, which is kind of nice. So it gives you a lot smaller area that you have to put this thing into. The other thing is that, the existing net box has the network components. There's a fourth one on the net box, and then this black plug down here would be at the uh, the fifth port. So it has four ports on one side, one on the other, and one power cord. The new module has all the network connections on the same side. Uh, if you're familiar with Hummingbird stuff, it's very similar to that. They have everything on one side. The uh, Garmin does as well, but the Garmin's about eh, roughly that much quite a bit longer so so anyway so that's that's one major change so that that from a, a rigging perspective it's gonna be a little bit easier to rig this now I have two screws to attach it with okay so there's two these two screw holes here I've got all my cables coming in from one direction so I would mount it this way run my cables in from the bottom create drip loops for them uh, so I don't get any moisture in the cables okay the other nice thing is that if you have an existing nip two box okay you should be able to take the nep2 box out put this box in place of it use the adapter cables plug in your existing ethernet cables but the neat thing is is it uses the exact same power cord so this power cord has been used on this structure scan hd module structure scan module the three days uh, active target modules it's all the same four pin heavy wire connection so so that's, got, that's a big plus to me, uh, being able to minimize the types of power co connections I need. Okay? So let's look at some of these cables. Okay? Uh, let's, let me pull out just a short, short cable for you here. We'll pull out, this, pull out the six footer. Okay. Oops. Sorry, a little loud. Now I'll show you a few differences. This is a uh, 15 footer. Okay. I guess I should have pulled that 15 footer out, but this is the existing Ethernet cable you're used to seeing. These are the new connectors, okay? You can see it's a little bit smaller, so my guess is it's going to be a little bit easier to pull this cable. 
This is what's called an M12 connector, okay? And the neat thing about this M12 is it's actually the same connector that's used in a lot of uh, agricultural stuff, industrial connections. It's a very, very robust style connector, okay? So this is this has been this has served its purpose very very well, but it's only good up to the 100 megabit. When you get to the gigabit Ethernet components, you have to have a heavily shielded cable. You'll find that the flexibility on the old cable is fairly supple. This new one is a little bit stiffer, okay? So it may be a little harder to. Uh, you you obviously you're not going to be able to bend a tight cable. This is probably about as tight a cable as you're going to do, basically a 90 degree like that. So, so just be aware of that when you're locating your module, okay? Uh, but you can also, if you feel this cable, you can actually feel the shielding underneath, okay? This is heavily twisted. This is a basically four twisted pairs connected together with this M4 style network connector. So, so all you do is just simply plug it in the module. It fits in pretty good, and then you screw it in, okay? So you keep screwing it in. It's very similar to the NEMA, NEMA 2000 connector. And so, the, so that's it. So now, that's this is the cable that I'll be using to connect my S3100 module. Right now, that's the only module the Rance has to connect to this gigabit hub directly using the M M12 cable, okay? But what you've got to, now with this adapter cable, okay, I can take the adapter cable, plug that into the hub, okay, like this. Oop. Rotate it around. There is a flat spot on this thing. It's just should have put my glasses on apparently. Oh, no, there we go. So, plug the adapter cable in. All right. So, if I say, for example, on my on my boat, I'll, I'll I'll show you, I'll talk, talk about it a little bit in a moment. But if you have existing cables, you take this adapter cable, plug that in. Now you take your existing cable that's already in the boat, which is the yellow connector, pop it in here, and it's just like connecting to the back of a unit. Okay, so now we have a, an existing uh, legacy network device, which is the yellow connector here, connected to the new gigabit inter infrastructure. Okay, the nice thing about this, it's going to, even though you got 100 megabit devices going into it, which is like all your MFDs, your, the, like the lives of the pro units or uh, elite FSs, and the active target, pretty much everything else, Lawrence, except for the S3100 module, uh, you're going to be going into a, a distribution hub that basically has 10 times the capacity of the old net box. And what that might means from a network perspective even though you've got a bottle bottleneck on each one of these what are called incoming pipes, as, as some people could refer to it, I got a giant tank here, and that tank essentially lets me flow more more bits through this thing than before. So, for example, if I've got two MFDs on my device communicating through it with an active target, okay, so I've got three devices all running at the 100 megabit, and they're getting close to being maxed out as far as on network capacity and I'm shipping say my map from one device to another I'm shipping the active target output from the active target module to say both devices I've now bot started bottlenecking a little bit of my internal network okay I know that, that most of you guys you know doesn't that doesn't mean a whole lot to you what it means is that you see a little bit you probably notice a little bit of lag at times in getting your maps loaded or getting your maps updated or getting sonar updated or your active target screen updated. So this is gonna help you with that. But what I'm gonna do, rather than theorize on what's gonna go on, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna take this module, I'm gonna prototype it up on my boat uh, once, once I get up to Vermont. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a, put a network analyzer on to the network, which I can do that because I have a, a connector, uh, a cable over there, which will take me from the yellow to an RG45, which is the network connection that you use in your standard computers. I'll hook my laptop up to it, have a network monitor. I'm gonna monitor the, the network with both the existing setup, which is I've got, on my boat, I've got an S3100 module. I've got four Live 12s, or sorry, Pro 12s, four Pro 12s, and the Active Target 2 module, okay? So I'm gonna look at my, I'm gonna get it on the water, 
turn everybody on, turn the active target on, share it on both the one of the console units and on the on a bow unit. And then I'm just going to see what my network utilization is. Okay. Then what I'm planning on doing, and I'm going to replace just simply the NEP3, NEP2 box with a NEP3 and put all the cable adapters in there and then cable the existing cables into just this module. I won't be pulling my um, panel apart on my console, uh, even though what I should do and what I'm planning on doing is I, I could. Do, run an additional test uh, out on that after. Well, I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, so then I'll do the same network monitor to see what the network utilization is, see if this really does improve things, okay? Because from a usage standpoint, you're interested in what you see, okay? For me, from a technical perspective, I want to say, is my network being utilized at, say, a lower rate? Like, for example, if I'm running at like 90% with the existing network too, if I put, put the NEP3 in and I, if I'm down to like 30 to 40% on my network utilization rate, then I know that I'm going to have a better response time on my on the boat, okay? And what does that mean? It just means less less frustration on your part, okay? So from my, and that'll tell me whether or not when I put new installations in with the existing Lorentz equipment, do I use the NEP3 or use the NEP2 module okay, for networks, okay? The other thing is that my uh, S3100 module, which is the module that allows me to see fish reveal on side scan, uh, that already has the M12 connector on it. So I'm going to take and replace the Lorena standard yellow connector. I've got a six foot uh, yellow standard uh, connector on there. I'm going to replace that with the M M12 version and see, see if I get any better response time on my side imaging. Okay. I don't expect to see a lot because of the units I'm using. So. And the third thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to lay out this whole thing on my boat and put two network, two NEP threes on the boat. Okay, we'll put one on the bow, and then I'm going to run a uh, an M12 cable from the bow NEP box to the console NEP box. Okay, and then I'm going to replace. Essentially, I'm going to use the net network adapter cables. I'm going to have three of them on the bow, uh, two for the units, one for the AT2. And then I'm going to have two adapter cables in the console. They'll go directly into the net module there, and I'll have a spare one. And then I've also got a uh, an M12 RG45 connector com or wire or cable coming, and that will let me again see if this that arrangement actually does improve it. Now, so what I'm expecting, okay, and this is just hearsay on our uh, just perusing on my on my my uh, side here. But basically, I think that the next generations of Lowrance units will have this M12 connector on the back. Okay? And to kind of confirm that, uh, what I did is I went on the SIMRAD site and I started looking around the SIM set. There is a new, I think it's an NSX4 module, model, and that already has this connector on it. Okay, And that's a brand new unit. Problem is that unit is about eight grand, and yeah, I don't think we're going to use that in our bass boats. Okay, if you're saltwater rig, fantastic, you know, you've got that. And there's also an S3100 Have module, which compensates for rough conditions, which is perfect for saltwater or even for Lake Erie and Champlain when it's bouncing up and down and trying to get good sight imaging images. Um, so those are already set for it. So this will, this is essentially going to make my boat future proof. Okay, so when the new module, new units come out, I already have a network in place. I'll just have to run different drop cables. Okay, I'll essentially replace this this adapter cable with the existing Lowrance uh, or Ethernet cable, and put in the M12 cable. Okay. So if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to shoot them all across there. Again, this was kind of a silent uh, launch of this new product. I know Hummingbird came out with theirs a while back. They, they at least announced it. Uh, Lawrence, I didn't see anything about it, but I did notice what happened is when I got the S3100 module in, I saw that extra connector. I knew what it was just looking at it. it. Had to be a new network connection. And so I just kept watching the website and eventually this network com these network components showed up. So I ordered a bunch and I'm gonna do a test for you guys. Hopefully I'll have that out in another, you know, a couple weeks, three weeks, maybe. We'll see, what ha see how time goes. Uh, uh, I'm still a little bit banged up with this shoulder, but at least I'm getting there. Uh, so, I, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. If you've got any questions on this, 
you know, please put them in the comments. I know I've already had a couple comments because of the note I put up on the on the homepage. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to having a little bit better network response in the boat. And it makes me wonder, what are we going to have in the next generation of active targets? What are we going to have in the next generation of units to really utilize this addition of 10 times network speed? Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.